Your frontend is using a legacy framework and your team has decided to use a new backend framework. Everyone is excited and all until you notice that your request payload from the frontend is not compatible with your backend. You may write a transformer that transforms all of the requests into something that your backend can digest or you could use a pipe. In the documentation, it is described that Nest.js's pipe is commonly used to transform and validate input. Before we begin, let's try to console log inside our controller and see what our payload actually is. Be sure that your application is actually running. Let us try to open our Postman and see the front end input that we mentioned earlier in the video. When I send a request to my application, let us see what our payload is being logged as. Our input is quite weird right now and I would like to transform it. We can generate a pipe by typing nest g pipe and then the pipe name. You don't have to post fix it with a dash pipe as the generator will do that for you. In my case, I want to generate the pipe inside app user common pipe folder and the pipe name shall be user. Now that the file has been generated, let's try to open it up. So you can see that this is my user pipe class and it is implementing pipe transform. It has a transform method and it just written value currently. Now to implement your newly created pipe, head over to your controller and inside your body or parameter, you can type in your user pipe there. Be sure that your application is actually running and let's try to make something different. Head over to your pipe again and let's try to return something else. What if I want to return a string of a test? And then let's save everything else. Let's try to run this thing again and head over to my postman. Now when I try to send the payload again, wait a little bit and let's see what our response is. We can see that it return test. Now that we know the pipe is actually being um, intercepted between our client and also our controller, we can now begin to transform our um, request. So you can see that I am writing name here. So I want it to be written as name and then the value from the request. Um, I forgot what my request was. Let's try to check again. Um, I have age and something else. So let's try to write it again. Now I can return age with the request value. And then I will do the same. And these are actually what I would expect for my controller to be received. So I will expect name, age, um, is active and also email. Everything should look fine right now. Um, let's try to save this file here and also make sure all of the file are actually being saved. And the server is up now. Let's try to send our payload. When you head over to your console log, you can see the, the request is actually different right now. Now, let me try to console log before the transformation. So I will put console log here, make sure everything is safe and the server is actually running with a problem. Let's try to head over to Postman and send the request. You can see that the request before and after is quite different. Previously, it was username. Now I change it into name. The same goes to age, is active, and also email. That should pretty much cover some basic concept about pipe. I hope you guys actually learn something new from this video about pipe. It allows you to transform your request. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.